So guys, it's been a while since we have spoken to you about what's been going on with CrossFit HQ, um, some things that we had made statements on in regards to rebranding, and we wanted to revisit this with you to let you know what's going on from our point of view and what's been going on at HQ. So to kind of get into it, the first step is, uh, you all know that since 2012, we've been a CrossFit affiliate. Uh, so what does that really mean? Um, basically, there's three things that as a CrossFit affiliate, we need to do to keep our affiliation. Number one is by our actions, not jeopardize the CrossFit brand. Number two is maintain our affiliate license agreement with uh, CrossFit HQ and pay our affiliate fee. And number three, make sure we have the proper insurance. Um, since 2012, um, initially we thought that there was a huge value in being a CrossFit affiliate. And in the last number of years, we feel like that value has been diminished and we've been explaining some of the decisions that have been made at CrossFit HQ to our members without really having much information. Uh, we've already always felt that the not jeopardizing the brand is a bilateral agreement. So as long as they don't jeopardize our brand, we would be an affiliate of theirs. So like many of you guys saw in our original statement, there were some things that were said by the former CEO, Greg Glassman, that were definitely not in line with our values and some of the things that came out about the, the leadership teams also not in line with our mission statement. So we decided that we were going to distance ourselves from that leadership group based on statements and further information that came out in the weeks that passed after the initial statement. Without getting into details on that, due to affiliates banding together and agreeing to disaffiliate with the current leadership in place, Greg Glassman sold 100% of his shares to a new CEO, and there have been some changes at CrossFit headquarters that are leaving us somewhat hopeful that relationship could be mended. New CEO Eric Rosa has a scholarship program that's been put in place for at-risk and low-income uh, areas. Beginning in Atlanta, there's free level one seminars, and this is going to be worldwide for um, many different communities. And so we think that this is a step in the right direction. Some of the things that have been communicated have shown that they're going to value uh, diversity going forward, and that's something that we had just never heard from the former HQ staff. So we are cautiously optimistic at this point. So what does that mean for us moving forward? Um, we're taking steps uh, to rebrand ourselves, regardless of whether we end up as a CrossFit affiliate or not. Um, we are rebranding. Uh, you guys may have seen all of our correspondence just as LWCF rather than Lake Washington CrossFit. Uh, we're branding as Lake Washington Community Fitness, but right now it's just LWCF. Um, to kind of give you an idea of we're not we're not taking steps back away from our initial statement. Um, we paid our affiliation fee and our insurance for the year in June. So like four days before all this happened. And so initially it felt like a kick in the gut that we had just paid this and now we're moving in a different direction. But after looking at it, it, it allows us some time to see if steps are taken in the right direction in the next year. And at that time, make a decision of what's best for us in our community, whether we remain an affiliate or not. Um, so that's where we're at right now. Um, and it's, it's just kind of waiting and seeing in an optimistic uh, approach. And no matter what ends up happening with regards to CrossFit's direction, and hopefully again, they're gonna be taking the steps that, that we wanna see. Uh, we do value you guys' feedback, so we will be talking to you guys as the, the dates approach when we decide if we're going to monetarily support CrossFit headquarters anymore, if we're going to have a complete um, disaffiliation, in other words. so. You know, that's really what we wanted to communicate with you guys. Anything else you want to add, Clark? No. Thank you for supporting us. Um, without you guys, we're not here. We appreciate you. Whether we're an affiliate or not, nothing's going to change on your end. So this is just potentially some new gear. Yep. Our community remains the same. Owners out. I'll, I'll edit that out. <laughs>